What's going on, family? What's going on? I'm going to uh, let some people hop in for a second before we get started. Y'all, it's um, it is quite the trip to expand and evolve and develop. Looks like I might just be ashy. Yeah, y'all, it's um, it's it's an experience, y'all. I'm gonna get started. I'm not gonna wait for everybody, cause. Either you're going to watch the replay because this is for you, or you're going to catch it on the YouTube. Look, the word healer has been thrown around so much lately. I'm a healer, I'm a healer, I'm a healer. And very few people really understand what a healer is and what you should be looking for in a healer if you're going to go that route in the first place. I'm not saying you shouldn't go to healers, quote unquote healers, but what I am saying is that you need to understand what a healer is so you understand why you're going to them. So you don't go to the healer for their own power. You go to them for the information that empowers you. You go to them for tools and techniques that empower you. This is important, y'all. People are sick, right? Like they got whatever ailment it's going through their body. Like, oh, I need a healer. See, if a healer only gives you the the herbs or whatever tool and they don't teach you how to use it, you got to realize you're being played by just thinking they're a healer. Because look, you are the actual healer. Your body knows how to heal itself. Like it's... It's facts. Your body knows what's well, not facts, it's truth. Your body knows all this stuff already. The herbs, the things that you get are simply more so catalysts or reminders of your body's own innate intelligence. You don't have to tell your organs to operate normally. They do it on their own. I should tell you that your body is already intelligent. Your body has all the mechanisms in place to maintain itself. It's us, the ego rather, or the the ego in control that puts the body in disorder or dis-ease. And we go to healers to quote unquote balance ourselves, but we really go, grow ah, we really go so that we can get the knowledge and the information for ourselves. You have to understand that. Healers are really just teachers. <laughs> They're teachers. They're guide. Well, we're teachers. We're guides. We are. Um, we're students of our own crafts, and we teach you and give you the correct knowledge with the tools or techniques, so that you yourself can bring yourself back into balance, into harmony. If you don't understand this, you will find yourself often going back to the healer again and again and again and again it's no different from the pharmaceutical companies you keep going back there again and again and again and again right why it's because they're giving you something but they're not educating you about it now you may go to the healer because they have the herbs in stock but you need to understand why those herbs are effective and how it operates in conjunction with you. How it operates within you. And you first have to understand you. And why you develop the disease or the sickness, the illness or the situation that you're in currently. See, healers are really just revealers. More than anything, we reveal things to you. Why you're in this situation, the thought pattern that you may be having, things that you've been consuming. And then we give you the tools, techniques, or what we'll call medicine to treat yourself so that you can alleviate the symptoms, alleviate the cause. And you also have the knowledge, the understanding so that you don't get back into it again. That's what a healer does. You shouldn't keep going back and forth to the healer for your whole life.
Now, understanding development the way that I do, yes, you're going to go back and forth for, for a little bit of time because there's more to do than just um, taking herbs. It's more to do than just changing your, your thoughts or your goals. It's way more to do. You have to develop. But you should develop enough so that you do not have to continue going back there. Peace, God is peace. Um, you have to recognize that's what the healers do. We are educators. We are teachers. We are informants. We are revealers to you of what you already know inside and has been locked away by conditioning and by programming. Family, this is important. Now, I want to give you that so you're not going to healers that just tell you, hey, here, take this. And they don't actually give you anything that's long lasting. Look, check this out. You'll notice the healers give out information 24-7, dang near. We're always passing out knowledge, whether you're an herbalist, whether you are a, um, a, a mentor like myself, whether you are whatever field you're in. We're always passing out information and knowledge because without the proper knowledge, without the proper information, you may confuse your lack of results with your lack of information, with your lack of proper application. Mm. Recognize that family. It's not always the product that is that's that's erroneous or that's an error. Sometimes it is simply you not understanding how to properly use the product. Sometimes it's an improper mindset while using the product. Sometimes there is something deeper beneath the surface that you must be aware of and understand in order for this uh, uh, medicine to take full effect. The healer will teach you. The healer will coach you. The healer will actually leave you empowered and not dependent. Whether it be on them, whether it be on the herbs, whether it be on their, their, their way of doing stuff. No. They're going to empower you so that you do not have to rely continuously forever on things outside of you. A healer is truly an empowerer. A healer is truly a teacher. And a master healer is nothing more than a master teacher. And they are always students. If you find somebody that does not take on the role as a student, you are in the wrong vicinity and you are bound to, to, to fail. Do not follow this person if they do not see themselves still as a student. Being a student is powerful because being a student is always being in a state of expansion. It's always being in a state of expansion, family. Healers are always in a state of expansion because they recognize there's always more to learn. There is always a new way of presenting information. There's always a new way of doing and being and delivering the power that is you, that is free to everybody. The knowledge is free, family. Recognize that the knowledge is free. What's not free, and this is where people kind of get turned off or they have this thing in their mind saying, you know why? Why do I got to pay? Well, because it took healers, teachers, their lives that they can't get back anymore to get this information. So you have to understand reciprocity. You have to give to receive. If you do, if you violate this rule, and I've seen it in a lot of different relationships, mine and others, you have to, if you, if you fight, if you violate this rule, you will fail or the relationship will be destroyed or You'll find yourself repeating things. And it's because you fail to give back. There's a reason that the world we're in is collapsing. It's because it is being predicated upon consumerism. <laughs> consumerism. And what is the consumerism? Is this take, 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 take. I'm going to take everything as much as I can. Capitalism is the same way. I'm going to take as much as I can because I can. You take what you need and you give back. That's what healers do. We take what we need and we give back. And you have to understand that, especially when you're going to the healer. You take what you need and you give back.
You get the medicine and you return reciprocity. You give them things so they can give back more. See, it's not a an exchange of resources. It's a recycling of resources. Because the more you give, the more you receive. And guess what? When you give to somebody who gives to others, guess what? They can impact others. And guess what as well? What you give comes back seven, tenfold. This is extremely important for you all to understand. You must give back. You must give back and you must understand the power is always inside you, baby. Get your knowledge up. Get your knowledge up. And if you don't want to read the books, don't read the books. Go to somebody who's knowledgeable. I will tell you to read the books because you always want to verify and you always want to meditate so you can actually confirm that knowledge is accurate and true. But again, that's another level. Understand this healing comes in level. This, this development, this progression, this ascension, it comes in levels. You don't just jump to level seven when you're still at level one. You got to progress to these levels so that your, your attainment is sustainable. That's why you'll always have healers on every level. Healers, again, teachers, mentors, guys, coaches. We're the healers because we empower you. We give you the information that you need so that you can go to the next level, so that you can go to the next stage in your life, in your development. It's, it's important, family. It's very important. I'm going to go ahead and, and end this here because that, that threw off my train. I thought I'm going to recenter myself. But I want you all to understand that. Go get some help. Go to the healers. Go to the healers. Go to the teachers. Get a mentor. Get a coach. Get a guide. I always offer my service to everybody. I always do. Because you need to understand these things. You need to understand this stuff. You need to... You got to get your knowledge up, family. Look, I'm going I'm to end it with this because that... The, the excess noise went away, actually. Knowledge is not power. Believe it or not, knowledge is not power. Knowledge is paradigm. The knowledge that you have puts you in a particular paradigm. It puts you in a box, in a, in a lens on how you see and operate in the world. Applied knowledge is the power. And as you begin to expand, what does that mean? You have to expand your paradigm. And what do we say paradigm is? It's knowledge. So you have to continue expanding your knowledge. That's why you go to healers. That's why you go to guys. That's why you go to teachers. That's why you go to mentors. That's why you go to herbalists. That's why you go to these people. Because they give you the tools, the knowledge, and the understanding so that you can expand further than where you currently are. They show you and exemplify and embody more than what you can currently see and fathom. Healers are paradigm shifters. Healers are transformers. All right, family. If you all are interested, if you want to learn to be more assertive, if you want to learn how to get more in touch with yourself, if you want to learn how to develop and make peace with where you are and in your mind and in your life, I always extend my invitations. Visit my site, IALLG.com. Check it out. It's powerful stuff. It's powerful knowledge. Promise you, you won't be disappointed, especially if you've been getting value from my videos, from this live in particular. But with that being said, my name is Brother Coasty at IALLG.com. We are always, always, always building bridges within to explore the world without. Peace, family.